Oh, I just started a new project for the tractor. Let me show you the new project I'm gonna do for the mower to hopefully make it so it's a little bit more effective when it's uh, plowing snow. And uh, you've seen in previous videos, this is our mower, which is running completely off of solar power now. And this is the plow that's gonna be on it. This bottom edge here is just metal. And then what I've noticed is it actually scratches up the driveway, so to speak. What I mean by I don't want it to scratch the driveway is we just got it seal coated. So I don't want to get that all peeled off in the first year. So I want to try to make it last as long as we can. So this is what we're going to do to it. I got this old, heavy, really thick, I mean, really thick rubber mat. So what I'm going to do is actually cut a piece of this off. I, you can see I kind of have it marked now. And I'm going to take the little drag edge off and actually use those bolts and bolt that onto there also. So hopefully that will be dragging across the asphalt and not the metal. I have not come up with a good way to cut that yet. So if anyone has an idea how to cut stuff like this better than what I just came up with, let me know. Leave a comment down below. This is what I came up with what I'm going to end up cutting it with. It's just a real cheap chainsaw, so I'm going to go with this first. You can see we got it cut it wasn't easy but you know what i don't really care too much about the chain on that thing so no you can see from that we got it cut now we're just gonna have a clean up and go from there yeah because i want to get all this stuff cleaned up before i track it all over the place <laughs> table now because I really don't want to have to work on this on the ground and we're gonna go ahead and get the rubber mounted on the plow like we discussed before so it doesn't scratch up the driveway so let's get started all right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take these bottom bolts off and there are 13 millimeters All right, you can see I just marked the holes. They're not all the way through. So now what I need to do is actually, I'm gonna have to find some carriage bolts or something to go through because I'm actually adding about half an inch thickness of rubber. found some bolts because this small one here this one is the one that came with it but since I have the extra thickness I need something longer 
do keep just about every nut and bolt I have. So we do have this one, but I also have other ones that have the smaller stuff in them. So anything that I can keep like that, I keep. If All right, now that we have that bolted on, we're gonna go ahead and get that on the tractor and we'll just uh, give a little test just to see how it works. We got the plow mounted you can see and it actually wasn't too bad even with that little extra weight added to it i'm gonna go through and uh, i'll do it off camera but i gotta go through make sure everything's tight get ready for come the winter go with that was a success because that actually worked out really well so i still got to take the mower deck and everything off when we get closer so i mean it's only september now so really our first snowfall here usually is around october time frame so i'm going to take the plow back off for right now but other than that we're ready to go for winter Yeah, and what I mean by scratching up the driveway, we actually just got a re you know, uh -huh. 